I'm doing one of these um, envelopes. So they're DL envelopes and I trimmed it down to size to fit the page. Okay, so we've got a nice little skinny one. I'm going to tea stain this first. Um, I don't mind the green on this one, so I'm not going to back it. Okay, but I will be putting a bit of washi tape along here. All right, and along there because, um, oh, well, shall I do a top opening? I think I will. What I'll do, I'll do a top opening one. So I'm going to trim that off now. Not the side, or do I? Yeah, top opening because I've got this, going to have this as a little pocket as well. Might as well utilise that. So I'll just take a sliver off because I know it fits because I already sort of matched it up there and I will put a circle hole here one can't even see it sorry one and a half that one <laughs> that's that and what I'm going to do is these are these are actually quite strange envelopes because they're not white they've got a grey tinge to it um, I think it's something to do they're recycled paper so which is fine so but i am gonna put some here this is my mixture i've been using okay i haven't just sewed this either i don't need anything on the back because it's going to be stuck down And I will leave that dry while I go for my lunch. All right, so that's nice and dry. Okay, like that. That's great. Right, I'm going to do a uh, little bit of stamping, actually. Um, I'm going to use right, a bit of Twisted Citroen. And that one, I want to keep it light. So I think I'm going to use a sort of bluey napkin. So, yeah, no, that's fine. I'm going to stamp the Tim Holtz one, one of his outline outline ones i have it here somewhere that's that one there um <laughs> get it right right it's called flora outlines cms 430 okay and it's one of those I think. no i'll keep that one on because it's already on there that's fine okay so i'm going to just sort of Randomly do that <laughs> and then over the top. I think that's everything. Oh, did I forget that? I'm gonna there we go. Okay, and I'll start down here because it's gonna be heavier. Okay, but I'm gonna slightly miss the water. because I want it to be sort of runny, <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'll start down here just in case. Yeah, that's lovely. All right, and it'll come off here. So try and do everything. I can't remember who started this, but I did have a video last year and I shared it. It's one of Tim, Tim Saltz's um, makers, so. Okay, I like that. Yep, that's great. I'm not going to waste that. So, let's get a piece of paper. There is some on there. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Right, you have to let this dry naturally. I'll put it on a heater. Okay, but what I'll do, that can be doing, while well, we do the tag, bit to the tag. Um, I'll take one of the tags, I'm sorry, I'm not sure what kit this come from, because I had a few, you know, cut up, but I just trimmed it down, one of the collage tags I have. Um, I actually, it's shorter than the pocket, and I do want it to come out a little bit. Okay, and that's why I've marked here, okay, and I'm actually going to stitch along there before I cover that up. Right, so when I put the, this in the pocket, 
yeah it will come to it will just just go down to there all right so that's what i'm doing that for so we can um do that one up and i'm going to ink up the edges of this one first and i'm going to use a napkin i've got this really beautiful napkin so i'm going to use that end i think there with that dragonfly so that dragonfly will most probably poke through the window there which will be nice <laughs> I don't mind all that getting on the back. I'm fine with that. So I think I'll use collage medium for quickness. Doesn't get too wet with this, which is brilliant. So helps the drying situation. All right. And what is quite nice is to repeat the napkin somewhere in the journal as well or in a couple of places even it seems to work like that Okay, so that's nice and dry and then I'm I'm not keen on the on the texture. Oh you had a thicker one than this. Sorry, it's a bit thin this one. So, but so I do sand down, but you have to make sure this is dry folks when you do this. Okay. Or else you'll end up. And then trim all this off and I will back it with lined paper this one this is on printed I think onto 200 GSM so it's all right okay that's fine and I will just glue in the middle here because I'll stitch around mine put some lined paper on oh gosh let's see Around around that there we go that's all done okay and what i've done there i stamped on the back again then get again with that but no water okay and then i use one of my word stamps here that i i have no idea where this come from it's actually quite a good quality one but um i've cut it up <laughs> i don't like them when they're just blocks like that i know you can just stamp in the middle and things like that but i found it easier if I cut that one up and I've had that years and so it's okay and it's got loads of um tulips and spring words spring yeah so I thought that would be ideal to use and I'm going to use it on here as well okay so we've got a nice little background 
Um, let's have a look. I'm going to use, I don't want anything too overpowered, so I'll use Vintage Photo, I think. Um, yep. Okay, right, let's go and um, put that stitch on here. I'm going to stitch around there and stitch around the envelope for a minute, okay? And then we'll see. Actually, I can do that in a minute. Let's put that in there. Yep, yeah, that's perfect now. I just wanted that to poke through. Got that there. Okay, definitely feel like I need a bit of green. So... I am just going to go for it. I'm going to put a bit of that in. Oh, that's lime punch and elements. Twisted citron would have been all right as well, actually. I'm just going to pop a bit in there as well. <laughs> Mix them together. They're all water-based, so that's fine. <laughs> right, let's start down here, see what it looks like, okay, because we know we're covering that up. Yeah. Okay, nice. Don't want it to interfere with what's underneath too much, so that's cool. Maybe a bit in there. It won't affect the text because we use permanent, but yep, this loads better. Okay, and as you know, I don't leave that go. So I'll get another bit of paper. That's quite nice on there, isn't it? Do you know what I'm gonna do? While that's drying, I'm going to work on the bottom. Yeah, I'm going to use a bit of this because it was <laughs> left over from something and I have used it in that, the envelope because I cut it down. I've done and this was uh, original gel print. So I'm going to glue that on now. actual tag because I have got a lot of glue in there and a bit of purple yeah at the moment nothing is blending in yeah but that's all right because I'm gonna alter that I think that's not the right color really Della blue might be oh no Right, so a dry cloth for a minute. Hmm. So I'm just looking first. Definitely too blue. I think too blue. How can you be too blue? <laughs>
that's good that's now that's actually fine because I, <laughs> when i put something yellow on that here it should bring everything together now so i'm going to go and stitch down mine mine's still a bit damp so i'll just have to wait a minute until that's ready and i might put a little bit of lace on there I need a bit of purple, don't I? But I don't want it to be too heavy, so that's why I'm leaving it. But I think we'll be all right, because that is in there. And it's only showing through blue and green, really, except for that bit at the top. And that's still showing through blue. Yeah. Right, so I've done that, and I found a colour that I actually like, that goes quite nice with there, because I have done a, um, what do you call it, a sample thing here. And it was, it was either mulberry, but I checked the mulberry and see, it's in between that one there, yeah, and that one. But that violet chalk, I just done a bit down here and it was perfect. So what do I know? <laughs> I might have done it the wrong way round <laughs> when I done the... <laughs> samples because <laughs> this to me seems perfect just got a little bit of purple in so i'm gonna do i've just done a tried a bit down here and i'll try a bit over here okay just a little bit like that that's all put a bit there and a tiny bit just a touch there. All right, let's put that tag in. <laughs> That's wet. And then I got a little bit of scraggles. That's just a bit of sorry silk. And all I've done was because um, scraggles is hard to pin down, you know, and glue down. I just put it onto the top of that. And because I want that there anyway, like so. I think that's worked actually. I quite like that. Yeah, that's nice. I've got some different colours going on there, which is great. And that's what we want. So I'm just going to. keep it and what did i get this i have no idea oh i know this is a tiny bit of stitching come off the edge of a sari silk so i had one side um stitched and the other side not so i am going to use a bit of that at the top there Remember, you can always put a dangle on this after. I haven't done any yet, so uh, that's a bit too long. And that goes in there. Yeah, so that's brought all that together now. Yeah, I bet you didn't think it was going to do that, did you? <laughs> And that's where it's good to just play with your colours. And it's surprising what you can do. I like that. Right, where was that going to go in the journal then? I did have a place. I had a spare. Oh, it's here somewhere. I think it was here. All right. Go there. 
All right, can go there. I think I'm going to go, actually, I prefer over there. I'll tell you why. Because I have this colour here picking up. But when I put it on here, I haven't got enough. It's more pink here. So I'm covering that sort of pink up so much, you know, a little bit. And it's going... Yeah, I feel better there. Let's have a look. See that. Yeah, that's fine. And I will be gluing it down. There's not going to be a pocket on the back or anything on this one because I know it's getting a bit thick. So. All right, get, make sure I go over the stitching. Or else it will lift in that area. And again, go over the stitching. But you can, you know, leave pockets here and have a nice another tuck spot there. Okay, I was thinking have a little butterfly. Gonna have a pocket there. I think that's enough. I might put that butterfly up there actually. And there's that one done. Okay. I'm not saying I might add something there, but I actually quite like the way there's looking because of this behind it. It looks nice, so it doesn't really need anything else. No, and I quite like the way that's all coming together there. It's nice. Um, just I haven't got any... Oh, no, I've got pink on there. got one of those. They always come in handy. That's the other way around. So that's bringing a bit of the pink in from the other page there. And another little ticket, you know, of course, would be going in there. But I haven't done anything like that yet. Or I haven't looked. I mean, I've got loads of things that would go in there. But I just haven't looked yet. So I shall leave that. Oh, sorry, I'm yawning. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, a minute. I've got more here. I think I'm going to put um, I'm quite liking that actually <laughs> cut it up <laughs> so. <laughs> just do that for a minute we go like that and you know what i'm gonna do now don't you <laughs> i'm gonna have a bit of that i'm gonna use these uh, wild honey i think i'm gonna use 
That's my go-to. As it's only, you know, it's only a background, so it, there's not a lot left on here, but just to add a bit of interest to the page. I don't think I got any, no. And there we go. Okay, so you can see how that's all blended in now, can't you? Because that was quite a strong colour, the tag, to what we've done on here. And then adding that and then adding a bit of colour, the blue, it just made it all work. Yeah. So I just need another little tag in there. When I find one. Okay, we shall see on the end what I've chosen for that. Okay. Yeah, so that's that little envelope done. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that little one. And thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you later.